Hey up YouTubers, how are we? Simon B here again. Welcome back to the channel. How are you keeping out there? Anyway, happy new year to you all. We're in the garage and we're doing something with the BMW today. We're fitting a booster plug to the BMW for various reasons. If you'd like to know a little bit about this booster plug, how it fits on the BMW, stick around, stay tuned. So why the booster plug? Well, I'll tell you why. I've been doing some investigation with the uh, BMW. I was out on this thing uh, about four or five weeks ago. I was out riding with an associate for an advanced riding and um, I found the bike to be a bit sluggish. Never really noticed it before because I've been doing some investigation. I've been looking at tuning this bike. I was gonna get it remapped. And everything that I've looked on the internet regarding these bikes between zero throttle and 100% is the bike runs lean. And I noticed that the other week when I was out riding with an associate and it was sluggish and it was hesitant and it was, I don't know, I've never, never really, really noticed it before. So I did some more investigation re regarding it to find out exactly what happens to it. And everywhere you look, they put these bikes on a dyno and anything up to 100%, 100% the, 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 the throttle curve is fine. But everywhere else it's got dips and, and, and it's got power reduction in every part of it all the way through the curve. And that's because of the Euro 3, Euro 4, Euro 5 that these things need to run leaner and leaner for the emissions to pass the test. So I looked into uh, various different things and I was going to go for a remap and I thought well I don't want any more power out of it because it's, it's quite sufficient. If I want to power out of it I'll buy myself a KTM 1290. But it was just something to smooth everything down. So the booster plug came up. I did some investigation. There's not very much videos and stuff out there regarding the booster plug. This booster plug, they don't only do it for the GS, they do it for nearly every bike available. Uh, the wiring is is, is lovely. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely bit of kit. I got this from Moto Works. Um, I'll put a link down below where, where it came from. They sell them for every bike because every bike for the Euro 4 and 5, possibly 3, runs lean. So this little device fools this motorbike in to tell him it's, it's actually colder than what it is outside to the temperature. This plugs into the temperature sensor within the airbox, which tells the bike what the air temperature is coming into the bike, thus making the fueling arrangement to put the fuel into the cylinder. But with that little thing, it's a temperature probe. So this little box on the end there tells that the outside temperature is actually colder. So it actually puts a little bit more fuel into it. As you can see, I've not tried it yet because it's still in my hand. So we're gonna fit it on the bike. I'm gonna show you how it fits, it's dead easy. The only problem with the GS is you're gonna to have to take one, two, three, probably four panels off it. I'm not gonna show you how to take all these panels off. You probably already know about that. There's plenty of things on there. So we'll just fast forward um, and get to the good bit to where this plugs into. All right, see you soon. So that's just the side of the bike off. Let's just get rid of these before I stand on them. And the position we need to be right here. That's the plug we're going to connect into. So it's very straightforward. It's not a difficult installation apart from you've got to take 16, 20, 16 bolts there. So as you can see, we've got male and female. So what this does is clips into the air sensor which is in the air box which is there and fools the bike into with a temperature sensor to tell you that it's actually running colder thus putting more fuel in the bike as we said before so clip goes in and clips back on the question is what do you do with the temperature sensor well the temperature sensor needs to go somewhere where it's not going to be affected by um, heat from the engine or from an external source. So it needs to be under cover. So they do say the best place to put it is probably on the air intake here somewhere. So I'm gonna look around the back of the air intake into the cylinder. So then everything's gonna be hidden up through there. 
I do apologise using white tie wraps. Um, I didn't. I've got any black. So that's how easy the installation is. I'm just going to tidy these um, this wire in here around a little bit more. Put all the panels back on, and um, next time you see us, we'll be out on the bike. See what it's like. See you soon. So that's the GS back together. Um, a couple of things while I was putting it back together came to mind. Uh, one was people may be thinking, maybe a question: if this is now fueling more than what it should do, what happens when you start at motorway speeds? Well, if you start at motorway speeds and you're on a constant um, throttle response, anywhere from zero to 100, it's the lamper sensors that then, then take over to monitor the exhaust gases, which then tells the computer what to put into the bike. So welcome back, YouTubers. Here we are on the um, BMW with the booster plug now fitted. If you've got this far, you'd have watched the, um, the fitting of it just prior. Maybe you didn't watch that. Maybe you just want to see what it's like. So I've just come up away from home. Um, we've done what? A mile and a half. And um, all I can say is, um, yeah, wow. So we're just in town. So we're, we're in first gear there, going through them traffic lights. And usually it'd be, it'd be a bit jerky. Low throttle, probably about 10% throttle, not even that. And it would have been a bit jerky, so in, you know, into second, and and the sort of jerkiness has um, sort of gone from it, which which I was realising that the um, that there was, and um, it's just smooth. So roll off there, put the throttle back on. We're only doing 18 mile an hour in second. And there's no hesitation at all. Wow. So then, just in first, it just went just smooth. Weird. So I pulled the clutch in then and then let it out and just put the throttle on and there was nothing, it was just smooth. So far, so good. So like I said, it was bought from uh, Motorworks. They sell them for not only just BMWs, they sell them for, I, th I think you can get one of these for nearly um, every motorbike that's produced at the moment. So we're only in road mode at the moment. A little bit greasy on the road. 10 degrees. But from no throttle there to on, there was no there was no jerkiness. It's like them spaces they put in them Ducatis on the throttle that have that jerkiness, didn't they? Um, it, it used to just all like pick up and just go ooh, but it didn't. It doesn't. It actually feels like we're in dino, dino, dino. Really? That's what it feels like. It's just got instant um, power, and there's no. Just when it picked up there, there was no. Um, there was no lag. There was no hesitation like there has been, which I've only just sort of recently no noticed. that's in fifth and it just pulls and pulls and pulls wow but it does we're in road mode and it just feels like we're in um diner diner dynamic you know huh the brain's not working this morning no it's early but that's fifth and it just roll on the um the throttle and it, there's no there's 
no hesitation or nothing. There's no lag. So we're down in the falls now, which is fair enough for these little roads. But um It's a bit windy today. Yeah, there's just there's just no hesitation anywhere of it. It's just a smooth. Smooth as butter. It's probably what the um I don't know, the 1250 um, ride like this, I don't know. But that has made a difference. There's fourth, they've dropped down on off, off the throttle, just because that corner makes sure there's nothing coming around it. And then just put the throttle back on and and, and there's, there's just no hesitation. There's no lag. And it's just smooth. Smooth. Smooth as butter. Other spreads are available. Well then, get on your own side of the road. It just goes. Let's try it in dynamic then, shall we? Oh, there we go. Let's have him pass. That was fourth gear in dynamic. No hesitation. The whole bike seems a bit more, less, more, less, more or less. Um, no vibration. Seems to be, you know, it just, just seems to be running a bit smoother. Is that the placebo effect? Oh, no, it always seems as, you know, it, 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 it's like it, it's like grabbing for something and wanting something, and. Um, At the moment, it, it just it doesn't. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you as well. I've um, treated her to a new set of spark plugs as well. Um, I'll put a link down below where I got the spark plugs from because they were. Um, I think most places are looking for the two a spark plug for one side of this engine because this the, the LC only takes one each side, unlike the oil kill which takes two. Um, they wanted somewhere nearly 17 quid each. But <laughs> you know me, you know me, being a tight ass, let's go and find somewhere cheaper. And um, I think it was some, something called the uh, Spark Plug Company or something. That's all they do, is, I think, is sell spark plugs. Um, so I'll put a link down below where I got them from. I think, I think the pair of them were somewhere like 21 quid delivered. Which was um, which was rather good. If anybody um, watched one of my uh, Green Laning bikes where we showed the uh, river that was uh, overflowing at the house up there, that's it there. That's a river creek. And as you can see, it's um, it's not full full, but it's got some um, water in it at the moment. Yeah, ten and a half degrees. <clears throat> Second of January. Wow. Tide's coming in. You can see the um, water's coming in. So that was in third gear and it just smoothly it wasn't 100% throttle. It wasn't full throttle, so it was, you know, 70-75%, not even that, it's probably 50%, and it just pulled away. Six gear from 
70 pulls away you know you're nearly home the, 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 the famous Horde monument because all around here it used to be sea until it went there's a lighthouse to keep the uh, ships away <laughs> oh, I'm pulling your leg it's, uh, it's a monument to Sir John Barrow who um, built the original I can't remember what the, uh, the original was, was called it's on some rock somewhere down south I'll put, a, I'll put a thing on it telling you what it is so yeah first thoughts on the booster plug um, can't fault it it's took away the hesitation <coughs> the jerkiness of um, the bike which it did have it seems to have um, smoothed out your throttle response from nothing it feels as though the um, it's 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 got power all the way through its stroke. Um, yeah. So I'll put a, um, a link of what I got it from down below. Waterworks. Um, like I say, it, it, it's not only just for a BMW. It's for. Um, considerable amount of bikes because of the Euro 4, Euro 5 ratings regarding uh, emissions that they do run lean and um, they say it probably will um, save you fuel because you're not always on the throttle and wanting more out of it when there's nothing there so yeah if you um, thought that video was interesting and informal and um, you thought it might help you give it a big thumbs up if you use a link below I don't get anything from it um, still nobody to this day sent me anything for free um, which is um, <laughs> disappointing well not disappointing I'm not big enough yet um, so yeah but if anybody else does want to do my uh, email address is uh, down below in the description um, I'll soon send you my me, um, me address where to send it to so thanks very much for watching all the way through to uh, the end I hope you had a, an awesome Christmas and a great new year and uh, onwards and upwards to uh, 2022 so if you're out there riding be safe keep safe and stay safe and um, as they say as they say we'll see you soon